Okay, hi, I'm Faith Simon and this is my EPQ presentation. Um, on the screen you can see the title of my finished EPQ and what I decided to actually name it. Um, it's all about how does sexuality influence power in Greek mythology. So, what did I first consider? Well, when you first start your EPQ, you go through a bunch of different ideas of what you could and couldn't do. So, um, my teacher, who wanted me to do about three or four and explain why I wanted to do them and why I maybe wouldn't do them. So, these were the other options I um, had apart from the one that I actually decided to go with. Um, my first one was how does Greek mythology affect the modern world with the kind of modern impacts that it has had along, um, especially in the like social media with you know the Percy Jackson books and all of the all of the different movies that we have about Greek mythology. Um, I thought you know these were really interesting to me as somebody who has grown up with a lot of Greek mythology in her life. And then the next one I thought of was how her female rights improved over the last hundred years. This um, is very prominent at the moment, so I thought, you know, as a woman, as somebody who has gone through sexism, it's a very important um, message, and I thought maybe I will do that one. But um, overall, I decided to end up with my last question, which kind of incorporated both, because I could use feminism to discuss people like Medusa in the myths. Um, in my final um, essay, I used three different um, Greek stories to convey my point. I used Medusa, Hera and Zeus, and Eros and Psyche. Um, what did I, how did I want to play, um, portray sexuality? Well, I took the... I didn't want it just to be about who you were attracted to, I wanted it to be kind of the different way you express yourself, how you're acting, different ways um, that sexuality is portrayed through modern media and definitely through Greek mythology as it was very different back in ancient Greek times to now. And um, yeah, these are all of this feminism. I use feminism to talk about Medusa's myth, um, the abuse of Hera and, and Zeus, and Eros and Psyche being the only happy Greek myth ever. Okay, so why did I choose this? Um, choosing an EPQ is a hard thing to do, but it's really useful, especially when it comes to applying for unis, because they can get you reduced offers. Um, what inspired me to choose this one was the fact I've always liked Greek mythology. It's been something that I've grown up with. My mum always taught me about it, so that's why my mum's on there. Um, how it's influenced society, that's why it was one of my first questions that I thought about. Um, the reclaiming of Medusa, the Medusa myth, especially with all the tattoos and the modern media around Medusa nowadays and the retellings. Um, the portrayal of Zeus, I always thought that Zeus was a not a very nice person when I um, read all the Greek myths, and even though he's portrayed as really cool and I don't think that's very true so I wanted to have be able to discuss that in my essay. Female sexuality and pretty, pretty privilege which is comes in in Eros and Psyche with um, Psyche's beauty coming from Aphrodite and the play Antigone because I am a drama A-level student and a performer. Um, Antigone is a play that I have to um, analyse and write about so I thought it would be a really interesting thing because it is from ancient Greece, it's written by Sophocles so I thought it would be really interesting to incorporate that into my essay as well. So planning my argument, um, planning an EPQ is much different to planning most um, essays that you do in A-level. Um, I started with three questions, I listed down what I wanted to cover and made mind maps of all the key themes. Um, these, this is was the modern media one, and I have a few pictures of the other ones. The domestic violence, which covers Hera and um, Zeus, and they have a loads of different kind of points I looked up, um, I used a lot of things like JSTOR to look up critical views to really um, accentuate my points. Um, same thing as LGBTQ+, I definitely wanted to incorporate that as well. Um, I did at first think to use Achilles as one of my um, kind of key points in my essay, but I decided against it when I picked exactly what I wanted my themes to be. Yeah, and then these obviously are my case studies and I made um, my maps on these individually. And the essay is 5,000 words and I broke it down into three case studies, which were about 800 each. And then my introduction and um, conclusion added up to the 5,000. Um, yeah, it was really, it was fun because it's really good to structure your arguments. 
and especially it helped my essay writing. Um, you have to evaluate everything you do in EPQ, so I made a review of all of the articles I printed out. I had a stack of research papers which I highlighted and annotated using things like JSTOR, Google, Wikipedia, just to um, fill up kind of what I wanted to talk about and have extra knowledge on it, be able to reference it in my um, essay, which is really useful. Um, I read books like Song of Achilles and Circe, which are extremely modern and they're a modern retelling of it, um, but they are really interesting, especially when Madeleine Miller has had a blog for a while. So going back and reading her opinions on Psyche and Eros and kind of the different myths was really interesting and really helped my essay writing. Um, and yeah, we just read everything we did. I think there was more evaluation than actual other work, to be honest. Um, yeah, the actual essay. So I touched on these. This is just in deeper, um, deeper. It's kind of the Percy Jackson. What exactly I kind of it can, like included in um, my different case studies. And yeah, these are the ones I settled on because I felt that I could really touch upon different aspects of Greek mythology in each and different parts of sexuality by going back to my question. What I learnt, how to time manage. Doing an EPQ is, it doesn't take up as much time if you plan it really well, and I know a lot of us didn't, um, me included. Um, how to create and manage a timeline. I think there was about five timelines that I made because you just had to keep changing them to make sure that they fit with what you were actually doing. Um, how to plan a long essay. It was, it was a long essay and it really helped my A level, the rest of my A level subjects, so English history and drama, because they all have their essay based. It really um, helped with structuring for those and therefore I did better. Um, how to research and use for reliable sources. We had to do a literary review, so every single um, thing we referenced in our essay, we had to critique it to see how usable it was, who wrote it, where they studied, etc. So that was really interesting to be able to do. Evaluate work in myself. Evaluating yourself is hard, and I think that is one of the places where I failed the most, was um, not being able to kind of evaluate myself fully because it's hard to watch yourself and critique yourself. Um, has to do a bibliography and references and text. I learnt that it was much easier than I thought it was. And um, how to structure an argument. Any questions?